This is an extract from a one-hour interview where an artist shares their top tips on social media. The full interview can be found in the Social Media for Artists course. For more information about the course, you can click the link below. Until then, enjoy the interview. A lot of people have fear of putting their work out there or doubt about showcasing their work online in the first place. Do you have any words of wisdom for, for people who are a bit overwhelmed by it? This is the first thing I'll tell everyone. The creative world is a visual world whereby we are not like these people who do these um, experiments in a lab and they can keep it until they get their findings. So everything's so secret. And so when they get it, they can go patent it and all that. No, the arts ain't like that. It's a cruel slaughter place to be where you are saying, here I am, crucify me. Or here I am, hug me. If you don't see it that way, you ain't ready for this. It's the bitter truth. You've got to swallow this pill. It's like, get it from day one. Because what you're literally saying is, I am creative. I have this visual thing I give birth to. But I can't hide this child. This child I want the whole world to see. So people might not like this child. I say, ugh, that's ugly. You've got to deal with that. You can't hide the child. They say, this ain't going to work. If you want to do it, maybe just for a hobby, then you're talking about a different ball game. But if you're in it, maybe to earn something from it, even if it's appreciation or opportunities, you've got to put your work out there. You've got to put it out there because you also don't know who's going to see. You don't know who's going to who's going to discover you. So get that really sorted. And you have to get that sorted mentally because not every comment is going to be a favorable good one. And if you're not, if you haven't got that settled in your head, if you haven't got that settled in your mind, you're going to walk out of a place that could be the greatest door into a platform or a threshold that can be changing, life-changing for you. So you're going to have to know how to cut the slack or how to sieve out the dregs or sieve out the things that don't work. You literally have to see it this way. I'll give you an example. I was in a gallery once. I did a rush hour painting, large one, of two, two, two people in the tube and the underground. And these two elderly ladies, they didn't know I was the artist. They're like, what a morbid thing to paint. Ugh, ugly. Now, I was the artist. They didn't know. So they looked at me and said, what do you think? I said, oh, so that's all of us got into it. If they knew I was the artist, they probably changed. Oh, they'll find something good to say. So you've got to see it's just human behavior, human psychology. Not everyone's going to like what you do. Some people are, some people want. So what? Andy Warhol had one of the greatest quotes ever. He says, you just keep making art. You don't worry about whether people like it or not. And while they're still making their decision, make more art. The one thing is because you were called to do it, because you were made to do it, because this is what you were born to do, you cannot stop. And you cannot stop also showcasing what you do. So in your head, if you can get all this settled out, then the world is your oyster. You can fly now. You have a platform to fly, to take off and to thrive. So this is the first hurdle you must get over. There is no hiding in this. You're going to develop some thick skin. Have it because it's going to be your greatest asset. If you get too attached, this is where the emotional sensitive people might need to kind of like level up. If you can't have that little bit of um, leverage, I call it, you're going to lose out. You're going to lose out. Because even the authors, people who write books, they get crazy reviews, they get bad reviews, they get lovely reviews. For the art, it's the same thing. The whole creative world is the same thing. And you have to look at yourself. Is it every time you've gone into a gallery or every time you've gone on someone's page or someone's website, is it everything you've liked? 
but you have a seed. Some people don't. They don't just have that little bit of a of a what will I call it? They haven't got that sieve. They haven't got that filter. They're just sitting mm. down in their houses. And they're doing it and you just have to you have to have this bag or this this folder where you in your head you just put those there and you don't let it affect you and you keep going on if not you're going to be losing one of the greatest opportunities to showcase your work just because of a few people a few people honestly you could get 20 good comments and one will freak you out for 10 10 days so, but that's human nature. We will always go for that bad egg and not remember the good. We hope you enjoyed this clip from our interview and it gave you some new insights into using social media to reach your goals as an artist. To watch the full interview and get all the top tips, as well as four other interviews with artists and sessions with our team of art consultants covering everything you need to know about social media, Click the link below to join the social media course for artists.